continuing coverage of the postseason. I'm James Sabalski. Game three is set to go down. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Tries to feed it over to Yakovlev. Takes a shot. Locks it down with a stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Hammers the shot. Big time stop. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Chance in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. For point nine, scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever, and he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. The Mallards are on the board quickly in this one, and a nice start here, the way that they've been moving the puck around. Well, a really great start for them, James. It's all about getting everyone into the game, establishing some pressure, and finding a way to get on the board. They do just that. Now they've established a 1-0 lead. It's about holding it and pushing for more now. Magneta Gorse playing it from the side. Here's a chance. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And that's broken up. The Nationals move the puck in the defensive zone. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, he hit him and got all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, Ginger. Along the boards, they don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Let's see what the official says here. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum, and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. power play unit and it's an opportunity for him to showcase his zone ability and help the team put one on the board here guys the nationals win the defensive zone face off why their most skilled players are on the ice. That one's executed to perfection. What I really love about this power play is it isn't predictable, which means the PK doesn't know where that puck is going. That's how you manipulate it. That's how you open up lanes. And this shot comes from the mid lane or the interior of the ice, and it's buried. The Mallards are sitting pretty right now with a two-goal lead, and it's still early in this one. Yeah, they've got a lot of game left, but they certainly got the start that they wanted to. They've been pressing all over the ice, closing quickly, and of course, finishing. The Nationals get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Shot! Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time, it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. This and Kent's grabbed a hold of the puck. Here's a pass in front! Oh, he comes up with a stop! The Nationals get a hold of the puck along the boards. Takes the feed and center from the right wing. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. 
Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. That's great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier, and they gained that entry because they got numerical advantage, and they capitalized and executed with it. Magnita Gorse coaches wanted to see more pucks on net going into this one, and I'd say through the better part of this first period, they have done just that. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. They go on the attack through center. Dermot Shaw's going to play it against the half wall. looking to take this lead into the intermission here as they've put a lot of pucks on net so far. Well, there's the horn ending period number one, but this one is far from over. Lots more action to go. Second period set to get underway. Well, let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second because it was one-sided, to say the least, in the first. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Magnitogor has got to try and find a way to continue right where they left off in that opening frame, James. It was near perfect. They managed the puck. They executed. They found ways to put it by the tender. Excellent period. Looking to set up offensively. Fires it! I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Here he is on the backhand. Came up with the save on that play. Picked off in the offensive end. And a strong effort on that play. and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. And that brings the period to an end. All right, third period just around the corner. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. Here we go with the start of period number three. I think at this point, it might be just playing for pride here. Well, two people... Scores! That's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in his playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. Magnet, of course, has been running away with this one since the beginning of the game, and no signs of slowing down in the third. It's been a productive night, and this is one of those games that gives everyone confidence. And this is important for your lineup as everyone gets it as they feel like they're contributing. Takes the pass. The Mallards play it along the wing. Here's a chance, and that start scores! And they tuck it into the they back of the net. on there, James. I think they wave this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. change in the score as that goal was waved off and we are ready to drop the puck again. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Too many bodies in the way. Takes that pass back at the point. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. 
Along the half wall with the puck. The Nationals take it from the side. Sends the pass over. Takes a slap shot from the point and gets a piece of it with the trapper. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. The Mallards are on the attack. Quick shot and makes the save. The Nationals take it along the wall. Love save and an easy one at that. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. With some open space at center. Hooked away in the neutral zone. Nearing the final 60 seconds of this one. Gets a glove on it to make the save. The Nationals played along the boards. Blocked in traffic. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here's a rocket of a shot. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Yakovlev's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Whoops in to take possession. Puck clear from the defensive end. The Nationals have it against the wall. Quick pass to Durgachov. The Nationals take it across the blue line. And it goes right off his bucket to stay out. Final horn sounds bringing this one to a close. You know, you can look at the stats and you can look at what the goaltender did tonight between the pipes, Cheryl, but... This, to me, was a team effort. Well, you can certainly see that they talked or discussed their structure in terms of how they were going to defend James, pushing everything, deflecting it to the perimeter and allowing the goaltender to see the puck. I mean, how critical is that? Yes, some 10-bell saves were made and some timely ones at that. Pitching a shutout isn't easy, but everyone on this group played well. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. The playoff action continues here next time, here on EA Sports.